Chief Executive Carrie Lam has urged the public to carry out self-administered tests on three days to give officials a clearer picture of the city's COVID situation. The exercise is voluntary and will not replace a planned citywide test. Macy Mock reports. Anti-epidemic packs that are being handed out to the city's 3 million households starting today contain 20 rapid antigen test kits. Chief Executive Carrie Lam urged people to use the kits to test themselves next Friday, Saturday and Sunday so that the government can get a clear picture of the infection rates. This will help to facilitate future anti-epidemic work. People who test positive should inform the government's reporting platform within 24 hours. We are seeing a downward trend in the number of cases and the various indicators that we are monitoring, like the sewage test, but the absolute numbers are still high. Uh, yesterday, it was close to 6,000 cases. So that suggests that we still have quite a number of uh, silent transmissions um, in the community. So it will be to the benefit of all of us, to the community at large, to try to identify all these infected cases as soon as possible. Lam added that the three-day self-administered exercise is voluntary and will not replace a citywide test which is still deemed as necessary to eliminate the spread of virus. Maisie Mock, HKIBC. Government adviser David Hui has suggested that now is not the time for citywide COVID tests. I think when the uh, number of confirmed cases is coming down to three digit and yet not coming down, persistent at three digit, then we should consider the compulsory community testing, right? And if you can introduce the rapid antigen test as the first round to screen out the positive cases, that would facilitate the subsequent second round, perhaps using PCR. Hui added that people did not be alarmed by two imported cases in February of a combination of Omicron strains BA1 and BA2. He said the two cases were detected and the strain did not spread into the community, adding that genome sequencing showed it was not the Omicron hybrid XE. Hui said the World Health Organization has suggested that the XE variant is not a cause of concern at this stage. He added the scientific committee will meet next week to discuss administering a fourth COVID dose, which could be given to elderly people first.